Forge just came out for Minecraft 1.19.3, so let's go ahead and get it installed. First things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below. And that's going to take you here. This is our text tutorial for getting Forge. It goes through everything in depth. It shows you how to fix any issues you may have. And we're going to be going over a lot of this in the video, but some of it we won't be going into, like fixing specific error codes and stuff like that. So that's where this article can come out. It also allows you to install Forge at your own pace. So go check this out if you do have any issues. But nevertheless, once you're here, let's go ahead and click on the yellow download download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official download page. Now, we want to make sure that the 1.19.3 version is selected, so we need to come over here to the left-hand side and then click on 1.19.3 here. You might have to select the 1.19 from the menu as well, and then click on 1.19.3. Once you see MC Minecraft 1.19.3 here, come under Latest and click Installer. That'll then take us off that focus. We're stopped! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Just put your hands in the air and wait about 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, a red skip button will appear in the top right. That's the only thing that you want to click on this page, the red skip button in the top right. When you click on that in the bottom left of Chrome, Forge will download. You may need to keep the file in the bottom left or save it in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. We can then minimize our browser and let's go ahead and move Forge to our desktop. To do that, click on the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11, and then type in Downloads. Now, normally, you might have a Downloads folder pop up here. If you do, go ahead and select that, but for me, I have to go and do File Explorer, and then under this PC in the left-hand side menu here, I want to click on the Downloads folder. There is Forge right there, so let's drag this to our desktop for ease of use. Now, at this point, we can go ahead and open up Forge. To do this, right-click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java, or your icons look weird. Well, in either of those cases, not having Java or not having the correct icons here, we need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods. Obviously, we're installing Forge, so we want some Minecraft mods, so this video and guide will help you do just that. Good job for your Minecraft mods. It's super in-depth, covers all the issues you could have. It is great. We even have a video. However, there's also Jarfix. Jarfix is what's going to take the files from your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. It's actually also what's going to fix your icons, but make sure you install Java 17 first. Install Java 17, then run the Jarfix, and then you're good to go. However, before we install Forge, how about a mess our sponsor, Apex Minecraft Hosting? Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyc slash Apex to start your very own modded Minecraft 1.19.3 server in just a few clicks. You can add your own mods to the server, meaning once you've handpicked and added to the server yourself, or you can install hundreds of mod packs in just one click. Sky Factory, Stone Blocks, RL Craft, fabulously optimized, they can all be installed in just a few clicks at Apex Minecraft Hosting. We actually have a Apex so much, we list all of our Minecraft servers on Apex Minecraft Hosting, and to top it all off, they have 24 hours, 7 day a week support, so should you start a modded server, or a vanilla server, or a server with plugins, you could do all three, and you have issues, Apex is there to help any time, day or night. So nevertheless, you can check out Apex again at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. If you want to play modded Minecraft with your friends, that's how to do it. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and open up Forge. To do that, right click on it, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. It's going to open up the mod system installer for Forge here, where all we want to do is click on Install Client and click OK. It's now going to download and install Forge. The only reason this won't work is if, one, you have Minecraft or the Minecraft Launcher open. If that's the case, close out of both of those and then reinstall Forge. Or two, if you've never played Minecraft 1.19.3 before, what does that mean? Well, you need to go launch Minecraft 1.19.3 from the launcher to the main menu. Just open it up. That's going to download the files that Forge needs, close out of it, and then you'll be able to come back and install Forge. But as we can see, for us, it has successfully installed Cloud Profile Forge for version 1.19.3. Awesome. Click OK. It closes out of that, and we can delete Forge from our desktop. Now let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft Launcher. Now, in the Minecraft Launcher here, you should have a Forge profile right away, right? And we will. We'll have one. It's probably going to be automatically selected even. But if yours isn't down here, and as you can see, there it is, Forge 1.19.3. We good to go, right? I can click play and click play again. But if you don't have this here, first off, click the drop down arrow here and make sure that you can't select it because it's possible that the latest release is selected and you can just simply click Forge and you're good to go. But if you still don't have Forge here, go up here to installations. Then make sure modded checked. As you can see, if we deselect modded, or it just disappears. It's not there anymore. If you select modded again, it appears and you guessed it, click play, click play again. But if you still don't have Forge here, or you don't have the 1.19.3 version of Forge, so it doesn't say 1.19.3 under this, go ahead and click new installation. Now you can use whatever you want. I'm going to name it Forge 1.19.3 because, well, that's what we're doing here. It's a Forge 1.19.3 version. You can also change your icon, which is kind of cool. Let's go ahead and uh, make it take a, a, a 
Lectern. Why not? I think that's what that's called. And then let's go ahead and click on the version drop-down box. This is the part that's really important. In this drop-down box, we want to find release 1.19.3-Forge. Now, for me, it's right at the top here. But I have seen this be a little weird, so sometimes you might have to scroll down. I've even seen it be all the way down here at the bottom, or even weirder, somewhere in the middle, usually around release 1.0 of Minecraft, right? So just kind of look through here, find the correct version of Forge, scroll through the list, and then once you find release 1.19.3 Forge, click on it in the version drop-down box. I'm also going to change resolution just so we can see once we get in game and click create. So now we have Forge. We have this Forge 1.19.3 version. We've got the one that was there. It doesn't matter which one of these you play. Just click play, click play again. And now you are playing Minecraft 1.19.3 with Forge. It's that easy to get Forge open. Now one thing worth noting is it is possible that you try to launch Forge and it errors out with some sort of exit code or something like that. Usually that's due to having mods already installed. So if you do want to uninstall those mods, and as you can see, we're in Forge here, Forge in the bottom left, we're good to go. But if you do have mods installed, here's how you can access them without getting in game. Because normally you would go to mods and open mods folder, right? But if you can't get in game, you can't do that. So how do you do this? Well, open up the Minecraft launcher. And then once you're in the Minecraft launcher, you want to go back to that installations tab that we were just on. And then in that installations tab, we want to go ahead and hover over our Forge version. So this is probably this one right here. Hover over it. Doesn't matter which one you use, by the way, but just hover over your Forge version and click on the folder. That's going to open up your folder here. As you can see, here's the mods folder, right? So now you can go in here. You can access your mods folder. You can back these up. For example, you could just create old mods and, you know, move these to here. And then move this to your desktop. That way it's out of the mods folder. And there you go, right? That way you've got these backed up. You can see what needs to be updated and all that stuff. But you can get into Minecraft with Forge. So that is an option for those who need to add mods. Speaking of adding mods, though, how exactly do you do that? How do you make sure you get the correct version of mods? How do you make sure things aren't all messed up and weird? Well, go ahead and check out the video that's on your screen right now, which is our in-depth guide on how to add mods to Minecraft 1.19.3. We show you how to find the best mods, how to install the best mods, and all of that stuff. So go check that video out. It covers everything you need to know in regards to adding mods to Forge once you've got it installed, which you've now done. So that's the perfect video for you. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more content. We'll see you in the next one.